Your Majesty. Na must know na ba go ban siu do anya na na eche yose. The matter on ground is a very serious one and must be treated as such. Your Majesty, you know our tradition. We expect you to abide by it at all times. Must we always remind you of our tradition before you do certain things? Your Majesty, you have no option at all in this case. You have to abide by the dictates of our tradition. You have to marry another wife within the time frame allowed a king in our kingdom by our tradition in cases like this. Um, elders of Oboduku, I see that um, you all came prepared. Eh? <laughs> Please rest easy. Eh? I assure you, I have this situation under control. I have not at any point declared that I will not take a second wife. I, I understand the tenets of our tradition. All I'm asking is that you give me more time. Bikuru, eh? A little time to put a few things together. And I promise to do the needful within the stipulated time. We have no time to give you, Your Majesty. Do what tradition requires of you. Uh, 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 the is, no king rules without a queen by his side. I know. Good. Even in our kingdom, in the history of this land, we have never heard of it. No king has ever ruled our people without a wife by his side more than six months. So, what we're saying is that, um, of course, you cannot be the kind of king that will change the good tradition of this land to a bad one. Mm. Of course, it shouldn't be you. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're not a man. Mm -hmm. oh. You will not do what those elders have asked you to do. You will not take another wife. But I need another wife. No, you don't need it. The bylaws of our customs and traditions states that no king can sit on a throne beyond six months without a wife. I need a wife. Or do you want me to lose my throne? No, you will not lose the throne. I will make sure of it. Besides, you have a wife and you do not need another wife. I don't understand. I am your wife. And you don't need any other woman. But you're dead. And the dead and the living have nothing in common. Will you shut up your mouth? Don't you ever spit out this useless thing to me again. It's funny how Obi wouldn't look my way after everything I've done for him. I don't believe that I will come back from my trip from Abuja and still be hearing about this Obi of a person. Why can't you just move on with your life? Forget about that guy. Did you say move on with my life? Oh, yes. Who can you even say that? Do you know what I've done for that guy? Did he beg you to do what you did for him? <laughs> you went to police headquarters for something else, right? And you made them there. You decided to help by burying him and even pay for the keke that got him into problem. Why is that a big deal? So what is that supposed to mean? You are bigger than that. It's not a big deal. I know it's not a big deal, but I said I love that man. And I will do anything within my past to have him. Then why did you lose him in the first place? And why are you not with him? 
The truth is, we are never intimate. <sighs> you think I am joking? Listen. I was never intimate with Obi. And I never knew him to be such a great guy. It was after he left that I realized I was madly in love with him. <sighs> but it was already too late because Johnson already introduced me to drugs. That reminds me. What about Joseph? Where is he? I don't know. <sighs> but he wouldn't stop calling me on a daily basis. Oh. But that guy is I want my guy and I will do everything to have him back. <sighs> okay. If you say so. To your wish. So how are you doing? I've missed you. <sighs> No matter how fast his printer runs, he or she can never outrun what the creator has destined for he or she. What are you driving at? We've been apart for so many years now. Don't you think fate brought us back together? Why are you deceiving yourself? Is it not obvious that Chupoki Kabiyama brought us back together? I mean, look at it this way. Your wife is dead. Leaving just you and I alone in this world to enjoy ourselves. And again, your elders want you to get a wife. It's up. So don't you think it's a great opportunity for both of us to come back together again? <laughs> ah, Mandy. I've always loved your sense of humor. I see how you... But all the puzzles, you know, solved. You play chess, eh? I can tell. You'll be great at it. But life, sometimes, is not a game of chess. This between you and I is reality. Seven years, Mandy, you and I have been apart. And for seven years, you have not found a man to make your own. No man has seen you good enough to be his wife. Why do you think in your small head that I'm going to go that route with you? My king. Mandy, look around you. This is a palace, not a dumping ground for women that have been used by different men over the years. You are not fit to be my wife. I'm never going to marry you. Ha! <laughs> See who is here. The bright morning star of a new I now want it. Come, 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 come. Oh, Eh? In any way, Jolo. You have come to see your king. Yes, your majesty. How have you been? I am doing amazing. I can see that. Um, I never knew you had someone here. So I think I'll just go and come back. Oh, no, 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 no. Mandy was just on her way out. It's okay. You can make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Hi. How are you, Jamal? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. How have you been? Okandria, the king's personal assistant. That means you're the right person I should be asking this question. My ears are very wide open to hear the questions you want to ask. So, shoot. Who is that lady in there with the king? Her name is Miri. She is from this kingdom. What's her relationship with the king? I don't understand. 
Is she having an affair with the king? Do you realize you are asking me things that has to do with the king's private life? Do you? How can you have to answer this question for it's very important to me? Listen to me, young lady. Okando is an ordinary personal assistant to the king, though highly respected by all the palace staff. But let it be registered in your tick call that my job description does not include knowing things about the king's personal life. I don't blame you. I blame myself for abandoning my duty at the palace and coming into this your stupid car to have this useless conversation with you. How dare you open your mouth to ask me things about the king's personal, uh, the private life? Are you alright? Let this be the last time you will open your mouth to ask me a stupid question like this again. Nonsense. You have the mouth to ask me about the king's private life. Who are you? Haven't I told you I do not want to see any other woman in my kitchen all in the name of preparing meal for you? Why do you constantly get me upset? Why are you doing Have I not made it clear to you that we are, we are worlds apart now? Tell her to abandon whatever useless meal she's making for you and leave this palace as soon as possible. How about you let me live my life in peace? Don't dare me, else you will be marvel at what I would do to her in your presence. Is that lady? Why do I have this feeling that there is something very strong between them? Could she be his mistress? Did Okando tell me the truth when he said he does not know things about the king's private life? Hmm, Mandy, you must do anything possible to get into the king's heart and make him your husband. No one must get into your way. Stella, I thought I told you not to ever come to my house again. You have no such right to tell me where and when not to see you. This is my house, Stella. And I have the right to tell whoever I do not want to see to stay clear. Can you stop shouting? Because it's quite embarrassing. Now you listen to me. You are going to decide what you want going forward. I don't understand. You will either date me or pay me back every dime that I've spent on you, especially on your keke. Stella. What? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, so you can actually talk in a calm manner. What exactly am I doing? Make your choice and make it very fast. Else I will be forced to lock you in a place where no one would find you. want to see what I will do to her, right? Tell her to leave immediately. Tell her to leave else I will kill her and you will be held responsible for her death. Tell her to leave! I want you to leave. Is everything okay, Your Majesty? No questions, just to follow my instructions.
Why am I faced with this kind of ugly situation? Why is life so unfair to me? How am I supposed to handle two delicate situations? I can't afford to lose my beautiful wife for any reason. On the other hand, I don't have money to pay Stella so she can allow me to have peace of mind. Stella is a very dangerous person I know. She meant every word she said to me. Why is fate playing this type of game with my life? What could have prompted the king to do what he did today? His actions does not look ordinary to me. Hm. I think something is seriously wrong somewhere. Could it be that he is no longer interested in me? What is really going on? Uh, no. I don't think I can survive if the king decides to abandon me in my present condition. <sighs> what do I do next? Your Majesty, Okonabanugu, there is serious fire on the mountain and we will have to act fast. We must act fast to quench that fire before it consumes you. Oh no, what is this fire that you fear would consume a king of my caliber? What is going on? I got a reliable information that the Chihu Zondo is plotting to move that you be dethroned. That is, if you fail to comply with tradition, which means by you taking another wife within the stipulated time. Oh, before. Is that why you're panicking? Your Majesty. Oh, no. Relax. My question, though, is what is the problem with the chills on them? Does he think that he can win this battle? The thing is, honestly, I will advise that this is not the right time for you to go into fight with anybody. Instead, think of doing the needful, do the right thing. After all, truly, you need an heir. You need an heir. I know. But I need an heir to this throne. As customs and traditions demand, I know. Yes, sure. And that is why, if you have noticed, I have been threading carefully so that I do not make a mistake that would be costly. But I also think that Ichio Zondo is doing too much. I, I understand. Oh no, rest easy. I want to assure you that your wise counsel will not be in pain. May you live long, Great Majesty. I could be this dull man. I am very sorry to announce to you that you cannot see the king. And why can't I do Why? You cannot see the king because the king is in a very important meeting with a VIP. And who is this important personality that the king is having? 
Tony, why are you trying so hard to get on my nerves with your stupid questions? Why? Well, I'm sorry. Why? So tell me what Mandy, there is no doubt you are a lady of great class. You have a very wonderful class in the society. But I want you, Mandy, to understand that you are not in the league of men who are capable of questioning me, who can do. Who can do? Why are you doing this? Why are you so stupid? Why? Mandy, you, you can call it whatever you like. Call it whatsoever you like. Who can do? Do not care. I don't care how you feel or what you call what is going on right now. But I want you to understand something very important. And that thing is that you, Mandy, will not see the king of this kingdom today. Who can? It's the king that will be. Mandy, let me tell you this. I, Okan, the one or Zie, will be the last person that will open his mouth to answer any other question for me. I will not try it. In fact, let me tell you this. The very moment I will open this, my mouth will be the time I will spit at you for being too stupid, senseless, useless, and shameless. My, you have refused to say or do anything since your daughter reported to you about Obi's a, 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 a health condition. So, what exactly do you want me to do? You want me to go and kill the young man simply because he's impotent? Huh? What kind of question is that? Marriage is for better, for worse. Meaning that your daughter should continue living with someone that can never satisfy her feelings as a married woman. Let's say long getting her pregnant. Oh no. Eh? Are you with your right mind? Don't you want to carry your grandchildren? Maybe you have uh, started suffering from presbycusis. Let me put it more succinctly to you, maybe for the last time. Mary has married. And nothing on earth will make me to support her stupid idea of divorcing her husband. That marriage must stand. Initially, she was visiting once in a while, but as time went on, she started visiting very regularly. Sometimes, she visits only four or five times a week. So, do you think she has any Um, but, uh, I am not in a better position to answer this question. My king, what really happened to that day? I am sorry. I'm sorry about... Sorry about that. Please tell me. You got me worried. I know. But I... I don't want to talk about it, no. But I deserve to know. I was seriously worried. And I promise you that it would not happen again. Okay, please. Let's um, not talk about it. I am pregnant. What did you say? I am 
pregnant for you, my king. Sure what you have just said. May the gods forbid that I lie with something as serious as this. I wanted to break the news to you the other day, but you asked me to leave. <sighs> Miriam, you have made me happy. I want you to know that this is the best news I've gotten since I became king of this land. Thank you. Come here. And who are you to call me in that manner? My finding so far proves that you're a regular visitor in the palace. What do you normally go there to do? What business do you have with what I go to the palace to do? I want to stay away from the king. Why, if I may ask? It seems you're a little bit stubborn. I like that, but I don't want to see you anywhere around the king again. <laughs> wow. You must be a wonderful comedian. In fact, you just cracked the best joke of the year. Man, they don't crack jokes. Mm -mm. I don't crack jokes. If you stand on my way, I will crush you. Oh, yes. Don't say I did not want you. Despite my last warning, you still allowed her into this palace. Why? Juliana, why have you refused to accept the reality looking at you? Don't talk to me about reality. I'm sorry, I cannot do what you've asked me to do. Because you do not have respect for me and the love we shared. She is pregnant for me. I cannot abandon her now. And you do not care about the consequences of your action? My love, do not do what you and I will regret. Tell her to abort that thing that she's carrying in her womb. Else, be ready to face the music. <sighs> Father, I cannot continue deceiving myself at this age. So what are you trying to insinuate? That I cannot continue with him. I cannot continue living with a man that cannot provide my needs as a woman. Father, I am human. I have blood and water flowing through my veins. But you were staying with him all these years. Were you not? Oh no, why are you so insensitive? Why? What is wrong with you? Father, I have made up my mind. And there is no going back. Please, I beg you, do not push me into hell again. Mary, I want you to know that there is nothing you can say that will make me change my mind. 
Afro, you are his legally married wife. Eh? And as such, there's nothing anybody can say or do to make me change my mind. My mind is made up. Okay, I invited you here. Something troubles me. My late wife appears to me in the physical, not in my dreams. Let us try to discover. Message. Your Majesty, the ghost says your wife still loves you so much. Yes, according to them, they said she is even ready to fight with anyone who might be willing to take you away from her. This is strange. It might be strange, Your Majesty, but that is the bitter truth. Your Majesty, they said, a serious sacrifice has to be carried out. Else, she is going to haunt and destroy your destiny forever. of things right now. What exactly do you want me to understand? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm pregnant. What did you say? I'm pregnant for the king. I'm pregnant for him and he's aware of it. Mama, please, I don't want to abort this child. No, 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 no. You cannot abort it. You will not abort it. See, we will not allow your father to hear this. 
else he will force you to abort it. Just be quiet. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Who can do? I want you to tell me everything about the day before the day. And the relationship she shares with the girl. You mean like how do you get to know that her name is Mimi? Who, 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 who gave you that information? Who told you her name? Who can do her? I got to know her name from the business. Really? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Listen to me. I want you to know that Okando is not the kind of man you will bribe with money. I am not a hungry man that is looking for who to give him money to do things that he does not want to do. No, that is not Okando. Okando, I'm not trying to buy anything. If actually you are not trying to buy me with money, what is this money in my hand for? Because you just gave me this money some minutes ago and you're still telling me that you don't want to bribe me with money. Listen to me. I have told you several not to come to this palace to ask me stupid questions. Stop it! Stop coming to this place to ask me stupid questions. What is wrong with you? Look and why are you being so why are you so stubborn? Listen, young lady, you can choose to call it whatever you like. I don't care. Okando does not care how you feel or what you say. But I want you to know this. Stop coming to this place to look for the king. He does not want to see you. Stop coming here to ask me stupid questions, to avoid embarrassment. Please, I beg you. Okando is a very busy man. As the king's personal assistant, I have lots of things to do for the king in this palace. If you don't mind, I will go into the palace to continue with my duty as the personal assistant to the king. Meanwhile, take this stupid money of yours. I don't need them. Stop coming here to look for the king. Are you mad? I am not a hungry man. Please stop coming here. It is very clear that you know who loves the king so much mm -hmm. and can do anything to protect his interest. But he cannot do much in this situation because our tradition is very clear on this. It's either he gets married in six months' time or lose his position as the king. Ichiamadi, we don't have to panic over this because things are already working out in our favor. Yes. This is already a weapon in our hand with which we can send him out. Oh. Huh? Oh. I know our king. Yes. He will want to do things his own way. And that is the ample opportunity we need to do what? Kick him out. <laughs> you are very correct, Ichi Ozombo. You are very correct. You are indeed the master planner. <laughs> Leave the issue of master planning. All we need to do eh, is to get the youth leader and his executive on our side. So that once the time comes, <laughs> the revolt, the next thing is we kick him out. <laughs> Ichi Ozombo, the genius. Eh? <laughs> I have never regretted being in your camp at any time. Uh, you can say that again. The <laughs> king <laughs> Sure. He has to. Are you concerned about my identity or about the information I'm about to give to you? What is this information about? The king is about to take your wife away from you. And how did you get this information? 
don't deny the facts you don't know about your wife's constant visit to the palace. Who are you? And why are you giving me this information? Forget about who I am and concentrate on how not to lose your wife to the king. And you have to act fast before it becomes too late. Real fast. I am gradually losing you. And it's killing me slowly. I am becoming a laughing stock in this kingdom. Please, my love. I beg you, whatever you hold so close to you, something that's so dear to you, please do not change your mind. Do not leave me. Please. Why is it so difficult for we humans to tell ourselves the truth? Some truths are better not told. For telling the truth sometimes could cost someone his or her life. Please, I'm begging you, please change your mind and save me from death, please. Death? I can't live to see you to follow another man. Oh, tomorrow is your birthday. I want you to prepare. I want to take you to somewhere special so I can celebrate your birthday for you. I bring you greetings from His Royal Majesty, King Ikemba, the great king of this kingdom. Thank you so much, Ukandu. I must say that I'm very surprised to see you here today. I understand. Um, it is a very special day for you. And the king sent me to wish you a very beautiful birthday that is filled with so much love. He prays to Kabiama to bless you with long life. He say... <laughs> he prays also that you live longer than you wish yourself. He say... <laughs> At this juncture, I want to officially hand over this key to you as a birthday gift from his, the king to you. Happy birthday. It's a lie. You mean this guy is for me? All yours. Ah, it's a lie! Oh my god! This guy is for me? It's your own. What is going on here? Oh. Uh, uh, the, the king, His Royal Majesty, King Ikemba, the great king of this land, sent this car to her. It is a special birthday gift from the king's heart. Congratulations. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah. What is going on? What are you doing? What is going on? Why, why are you behaving like this? What is wrong with you? What is the problem? What is wrong with What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? No one should hold me back. It's very simple. If I should have a dead one of you, I'm going and come out again. I don't want to say one of you here. What is wrong with you? You brought a panic king. But for your, your, your. What kind of a human being is this? Huh? Hold me! What are we going to call this? What 
stop this nonsense. What's going on here? Will you leave my house? Will you leave my house? Idiot. Idiot. Nonsense. Come and carry a car. Idiot. No, come and take the car. I am here for this animal, this he god who calls himself the king of this land. I am here to kill him, you wolf in sheep's clothing. Please, my son, kindly drop the gun. Drop the gun, please. Tell me what the problem is. Oh no, this idiot is having an affair with my beautiful wife. He working at William, as if that is not enough for him. He wants to forcefully call out what belongs to me. He wants to take away my beautiful wife. I said, I win him. And that is why you have come here with a gun. Obi now. You are too small. You are not mad enough. One more word from you. I swear. One more word from you and I will blow your car. Obi. One more word from you. Danny! No, Uma, No, please. Please for forgive him. My son, forgive him, please forgive him. I, I promise you I'm going to look into the matter and I assure you must surely get justice. Please. Hello? Tell him. Warn him. Tell him to leave my wife. I will not warn you again. If you dare get close to my wife again, I swear. Greetings, Your Majesty. Yeah. Greetings, Okandu. I'd like to know how it went. Your Majesty, it did not go well. Chukwoki Kabiyama saved our lives. That is the reason I am standing before you this minute, Your Majesty. What happened? Your Majesty, a man I believed to be her husband broke the windscreen of the car. He did what? Your Majesty, he broke the windscreen of the car. I, 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 I was actually at the verge of attacking him with the other guy that I went to that place with. When he suddenly came out with a gun, your majesty, he brought out a gun, he wanted to shoot at us. We had no choice but to run for our dear lives. Your majesty, that young man is nothing but a beast. He's a beast. I see. It's okay. You can go. As a pleasure to see you, Your Majesty. I see that this dream I had was a direct and clear revelation of what is to come. Obina. Obina. I see that you have chosen to bite more than you can chew.
bothered about him. I thought you don't care about him anymore. My, why are you sounding like this? How am I sounding? Eh? How can she care or bother on the whereabout of a man? She wants to dis divorce by all means. Eh? I thought by now she will be celebrating. Papa, I know I don't want him as my husband anymore. But that doesn't mean I'll wish or pray for such evil to befall him. Father, I'm seriously bothered about his whereabouts. You really need to be. And also pray that he comes back alive. Else. Else what? Else what, Anai? Are you really thinking that your daughter has a hand in his kidnap? Eh? You don't need to bother about what I think. You rather need to bother about what others out there think or say. Oh, Mazono, you're welcome. Thank you very much, you know. Uh, uh, what has brought you to my house this time? Because uh, it is said that the toad does not scamper in the daytime in vain. It is either something is after the toad or the toad is after something. You are very correct to know something very important brought me here. Okay, I'm all ears. Go ahead. My son-in-law was kidnapped yesterday. What? How, how, how did it happen? Where, where did it happen? Well, those who witnessed the incident said it took place along uh, Amoba Tad Road. Hi. Who could have done this? The king, his majesty. What? How do you mean the king? Exactly what you had me say is what I mean. How, 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 why would the king kidnap your son-in-law? Very simple to understand. The king is involved in a love triangle with the young man and my daughter. Oh no, my son, no. How, how, how sure are you of what you are saying? How do you understand the fact that the king sent a car gift to my daughter on her birthday? Okay, don't you think that the fact that my son-in-law broke the glass of that very car and then he chased away the servants that brought that car out of his compound with a gun might have made the king to send after him those very kidnappers? Hi. Oh no, oh no, this, this, this is, this is unbelievable. Quite unbelievable. I'm not worried whether you believe it or not. My mission here is to inform you to please ask the king to release my son-in-law from those kidnappers in one piece. I am done. Don't you care for more? My king, I know he overreacted. He shouldn't have broken the windscreen, let alone chest your voice away with the gun. Please, I beg of you, temper justice with mercy. What justice? I thought you knew me, but clearly there are so many things you still need to learn about me. I have no hand in his kidnap. Of what use would it be to me? You mean you don't have a hand in his kidnap? I'd rather do something that will be profitable, something that can move me forward, other than get myself embroiled in something that will bring disrepute to my personality. I have no hand in his kidnap. If you didn't kidnap him, then who did? A puzzle for you to solve. That is something you would have to work out yourself if you really want him out of the hands of his kidnappers. But while you're at it, 
I would like you to give your mind to something more important and fruitful. Which is? Our marriage. Yes, baby. Planning our marriage. I have decided to make you my wife. I have finally decided to marry. Hey. 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 I did not offend anyone. Please. Sorry, sir. If you agree to play by the rules, then then, then then, no matter the number, I swear, I, 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 okay. I will, I will. Okay, okay. It's a very simple tax. Do you know anyone by the name Stella? Yes. Go. Yes. Go. I do not want to see you anywhere around her again in your entire life. Is that all? Is that all you want me to do? Shut your mouth! Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. No, hey, listen to me, sir. I don't want to see you anywhere close to Stella. Yes, sir. Talk more of having anything to do with her. Understood? Perfectly well. Understood, yes. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, listen. I don't want you to tell anyone about me. I am not stupid to, 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 to tell anyone. Or anything that happened to you here today. Yes, sir. If you try to do anything stupid, contrary to what I just told you today, yes, sir. Consider yourself a dead man. I won't be stupid to say anything. Because I am going to fish you out of wherever you may choose to hide and make sure that I behead you. Do we agree on this? 100%. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll listen to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 